10 days into the war and the humanitarian crisis is worsening and so too is the hostage situation. Hamas releasing its first hostage video Monday, showing a woman who identifies herself as a 21-year-old. In the clip, she appears to be receiving medical treatment. The woman was reportedly abducted from an Israeli music festival during the initial terrorist attack October 7th. In response, the Israel Defense Forces says Hamas tries, quote, to portray themselves as humane and refers to them as a horrific terrorist organization. Hamas now claiming to have as many as 250 hostages, up from a reported 150. Well, a proof of life video is always positive for the family in terms of morale. But let's keep in mind, after an enemy who killed, mutilated, and raped Israelis, to show how well they're taking care of the hostages uh, means very little to the, uh, the IDF. Retired Navy SEAL officer Mike Sorelli with me at 6 o'clock says the level of complexity of bringing home the hostages is unprecedented because the taken are reportedly spread across multiple locations. Usually it's one hostage in one location. You find and fix where that hostage is located and conduct a direct action raid to rescue them. Uh, this this is going to be a long battle. Eight groups are trying to get critical supplies to the region as hospitals are running out of fuel. Cross-border fire increases and a full-scale ground invasion is soon expected. On X, the IDF announcing it has eliminated six key Hamas operatives. The Israel Defense Forces will destroy Hamas for the sake of Israel, Gaza, and the entire world. They've got time. Time is on their side. And eventually, if you cut off vital services like water, electricity, and telecommunications, it robs Hamas of their eyes and ears. Pro-Palestine protesters gathering on Pennsylvania Avenue calling for a ceasefire. President Biden confirming late Monday he'll travel to Israel Wednesday and then Jordan to stand in solidarity in the face of Hamas's brutal terrorist attack. The U.S. as of Monday now shipping American tourists from an Israeli port, many emotional. I feel so much for the people. Excuse me, it makes me tear up so much they're going through. The death toll now stands at a combined almost 4,200 lives lost. That does include about 1,400 Israelis from the initial October 7th terrorist attack. And that ground war we've been hearing about hasn't started yet. Hasn't started yet. And you heard the retired Navy SEAL say time is on the IDF side. Mm -hmm. I asked, well, does that mean that we could see this drag on for weeks in terms of the looming ground invasion? Mm -hmm. He says hours or days.